What's up guys, Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com back with another Blender quick tutorial for you. So in today's video I'm going to teach you how to use the, the array modifier and the curve modifier in order to create a chain that follows a path inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so we're going to start by modeling our chain. So I'm just going to do a shift right click to put my cursor right here and then I'm going to do a shift A and we're going to add a torus. So we've got a torus right here, and first thing we want to do is we want to scale it down. So we want to bring this down, so it's got a smaller major radius, smaller minor radius. So we basically want to make this the thickness that we want our chain to be. So we're going to take this, and even then we're going to maybe make it, we'll call it this thick for right now. So now I'm going to move this along my green axis. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And so within edit mode, what we want to do is we want to take half of this. So probably the best way to do this is to take a front view of our object. And then we're going to uh, hold the Z key and go into wireframe mode. I'm going to type the B key and then I'm going to select everything on this side of our torus. So basically we just want to use the G key to move this and the Z key in order to lock it to the red axis. So basically what we've done is we've created a chain link. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the whole thing and I'm going to make a copy of it. So I'm going to do an A to select all, Shift D to duplicate, and X in order to move it along this axis. So I'm going to move it until it's about halfway into this link. Then I'm going to rotate it using the R key. I'm going to tap X and I'm going to type in 90. So that'll rotate this 90 degrees. And then we're just going to move this a little further along, just like this. So now what we have is we have an object that's going to make up our chain. So we've got our chain links. Now we want to add an array modifier. So go into your modifiers, click on add modifier, array. And we want to adjust this so that our relative offset is maybe something like 0.85. And then we want to turn up our count a little bit. So that's going to create our chain. And so one thing I want to do though is right now we've done this as a fixed offset. Well, we don't want this to be a fixed count. We want this to fit a length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to create a curve. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do a straight on view like this. And then we're just going to do a shift A and we're going to add a curve. So, and we can add this as a Bezier curve. And so what this has done is this has created a curve in here. Well, now I'm going to hit the tab key and notice how you can adjust these points. So I've got a couple extra in here, so I'm just going to delete the vertices on this. But basically all I'm going to do in this situation is I'm just going to select this vertex and I'm just going to extrude it. And you may want to think about doing this from a straight up and down view. So you can see how I can type the E key in order to extrude this to add additional points to my curve. So I've got a curve now inside of my model, a Bezier curve. And so what we want to do is we want to go back, we want to tab back into object mode, and you see where our array modifier was added. Well, we want to set this, we want to set our fit type type to fit length, or fit curve in this case. So we're going to fit it to a curve, and we just need to select this curve with the eyedropper, like this, and we can add the Bezier curve. So you can see how what that did is that basically or it basically created copies of this so that this has the same length as the curve that we created. Well, the only problem with this is right now, this is currently the same length as this curve, but it's not following it. So what we need to do is we need to add a curve modifier. So go to add modifier, curve, and then we're just gonna select our curve. Well, now you can see how what this does is this is following the curve. So and this will follow the curve closer if you move it closer to this edge. So like for example, I'm gonna move it on the Y axis to align it here, then the X axis to align it here. But you can see how now this is taking our chain and it's aligning it to our curve object. So you can use this in order to align this to that curve. Well now you could also come in here and if you wanted to edit any of your different points, so if we were to tab into edit mode and select one of these points and move it around, 
you can see how your chain is going to move with it. So it's automatically adding additional links and also just moving things around in order to make this fit along your curve. Once you apply your array modifier and your curve modifier, you can see how you can make this follow along basically any curve that you want to. So this is a very powerful tool for doing things like this. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought was this helpful to you. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.